Good morning, good morning. How you doing, Gerard Fairley? <clears throat> I wanted to talk about dealer rep and dealer relationships, etiquette, um, how to make money easier. And I guess this video has been a long time coming because when you sign up with Auction Access, you're, you're, uh, you're setting up a relationship with a licensed dealer um, so you can make money, right? The dealer doesn't know you. The dealer, but the dealer's in business to make money. You don't know the dealer, but you're in business to make money. So, and no one has met each other. They just contract and then you have a person like myself who is making the introductions with one party and another. The dealer agent, the dealer rep, and a licensed dealer who is looking to make extra money by allowing people to buy through his or her license. All right, so that's the nature of the business relationship. It's not perfect. Auction access under another dealer is not a perfect situation, but it is there to satisfy your basic need, which is getting into the dealer auctions and being able to buy cars at dealer prices and being able to buy and sell unlimited amount of cars per year right that is the major benefit and the reason why you get into auction access to be able to get into the car business with minimal financial upstart sorry about that I have the AC on just trying to cool off the car about to head out so that's the basis of why you're in auction access to get access auction access to get access to the auction uh, plate or no plate you know that's also available right and now the dealers are in the auction access business to make additional money these are smaller dealers working out of an office or a two four car two car warehouse lockable warehouse something small but it's licensed right it's legitimate license in their state whether it's Georgia Florida Minnesota wherever the states that I'm representing so these are dealers who are looking to make extra money and by the same time they have to stay in business and manage their risks so that they don't get their dealership shut down by uh, you know one of the uh, an agent who for whatever reason for whatever whatever reason can't satisfy their bid amounts and have to walk away from a bid right the dealers not in business to lose money the dealers in business to make money that being said and first, and again, and let me say also, also, again, this is not a perfect situation, all right? So that being said, yes, the dealer rep, the dealer agent, um, is paying a certain amount of money up front in exchange for access to dealer services and timely, uh, timely uh, execution of titles and bill of sale and things of that nature. That's the service you need. you need. You need the dealer to execute your titles. So that's what you're paying for. Um, now, to get better service from the dealer, here's what you can do. Recognize that the dealer is already concerned because he's responsible for your actions. So the dealer is already defensive to a certain degree because he has to defend the integrity of his license. Because you could bid on a car win the bid and then walk away and the dealer is on the hook and I've been through this with dealers so that's the first step so you as a dealer agent the dealer rep should recognize that perspective that the dealer is at a weakened position because he's liable for your actions so that's the first standing point of your relationship you're just thinking about hey I want to buy some cars so I'm paying my paid my money I want to get access to the cars Ugh. yes but if you look at the dealer's perspective, you will bring your enthusiasm and your, your aggressiveness down one or two notches because you'll understand where the dealer comes from. That's the basis of a good relationship, understanding both parties' perspective, all right? So you'll get better uh, and more complete, you get a better bedside manner, more better customer service, faster titles, if you recognize a few things with Human psychology, right? You get better behavior from a person if you give them better behavior, right? 
So rather than expect the dealer to jump out the window and rush titles to you, you know, run to your front door and give titles to you in eight hours and, you know, rather than expect all of that, first give something good. In the, first give something good. Call the dealer when you sign up. Hey, how you doing? My name is blah, blah, blah. I want to introduce myself. You know, this is what I want to do with my business and I want to be able to uh, work alongside with you so we can both make money together. Have a conversation with the dealer. Man to man, man to woman, you know, whatever. Have a conversation first in a pleasant manner. First, put that out there, that first communication. Secondly, ask the dealer, what can I do in our relationship to make things easier for you so I can get titles back faster from you and so I can help you with the paperwork side, right? Say this to the dealer. The dealer's like, oh, this guy has business. This person means business. You see, put forth first what you want in return from the dealer. You want faster title work? Then present that to the dealer in your communication and ask what you can do to get faster title work. You see, don't just wait until you buy a car and then that day up, oh, what's the title? What's, what's, what? No, wait a second, because that's not how you would want to be treated if you were the dealer. You see, all I'm saying in this video, and a lot of people will, may not like it, but is to, if you want better relationship with the dealer that you're under, you're not under, that you're sponsored with, put forth that first. Put forth that communication, that broadcast. When you first sign up, have a conversation, email. You know, before you start buying cars, don't wait until you purchase the car and then you want, you're demanding fast service and you're nervous and you're wondering and you're anxious and you're angry. Deal's not calling you back fast enough. You didn't get entitled fast enough. It's not fast enough. Set the tone first in the beginning, all right? Understand the dealer's perspective and you'll get better service. Be polite ahead of time. You'll get more politeness, all right? That's number one. Number two, what I wanna also say is auction access is not perfect. So use the little bit of friction and concern, the friction, the, the friction that you're getting to propel you, to motivate you to get your own dealer license or to get to go to the next level. Because if it was perfect for you, then you would stay there. You would stay with auction access and you know, you would just complain about titles and stuff. But use the friction, use the discomfort. You complain about the titles, it's not coming fast enough. What's the solution? You need to be able to sign your titles yourself. How can you do that? You need your own dealer license. You see? So rather than complain about the things you're not getting in the relationship, appreciate and show gratitude for the things you are getting in the relationship and then use the discomfort, use your complaints, keep them internal, but use it to fuel you, to motivate you to get to next level. You know, I get a lot of complaints from people. I can't get this, I can't get that. Yeah, but it's not a perfect situation. Life is not a perfect situation. Once you're the dealer, you have other problems to deal with, other issues. You see what I'm saying? So, again, if you want better relationship with the dealer that you're working with, give better energy ahead of time. Don't complain as much verbally. Just use that to motivate yourself internally. All right? This is what it's like when you're creating financial con dominance for yourself, financial control. You start from where you're at and you pull yourself up until you're able to control the entire arena in which you're operating from. And if it's the auto industry, as a dealer agent, your movement is restricted because you are attached to a dealer. But don't complain about it. Use it to motivate yourself to go to where you're trying to get to. That's financial control. That's financial dominance. Let's make money.